Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. Today a fairly short Alliance War video. I was back up for section 1, there was no need for my help uh, this time, which I'm quite happy about because yeah, uh, on new iOS it's a fairly risky business heading in every fight, but uh, luckily uh, it works somewhat better on my XS Max than 11 Pro, so that's what I'm using now uh, to record and obviously to to my fights in war especially uh, but anyway so i have a few fights to deal with and we can start off with this thing and the middle of uh, end of section two and i'm not using suicide masteries for this war and yeah we're just gonna full on put our boosts because we are going to have a few fights after this as well and why risk a death right and yeah so here we are with fully boosted non-suicide quake against a thing and this guy basically goes in unblockable uh, every now and then and also he has limited immunity uh, at the beginning of the fight so all in all a pretty perfect fight for quake so long as you can fully await all of the opponent's incoming attacks you don't really need to worry about uh, opponent being unblockable or anything else for that matter in this fight uh, and yeah uh, it is worth mentioning that this war is against brjp the war is still going on but it is definitely looking like we are going to take a win in this one uh, i think in our bg we still only have the main boss to kill but yeah so limited immunity here has worn off and that means we can stun the thing and that means the fight becomes even more easier as the time goes on as we can see we are still on a full yellow bar 100 percent health and the thing is at like two percent health uh one percent at this point so the fight's pretty much over uh a minute in it we had a minute and 55 left on a timer when the fight concluded and now next fight is going to be domino and now like i showed a couple of videos before you can quake and domino if you have black widow synergy with you because then uh, you get no crit fails on your abilities because you have improved ability accuracy potency and duration of all of your effects and yeah that uh, makes quake pretty much perfect counter for dominoes all across the board one thing you do need to be kind of worried when you are trying to quake domino is that you do need to slightly delay yourself after her uh, double medium hit that uh, if you try to dex too early you will get caught i think that is also going to happen once in this video uh yeah like right here i dex too early and i get caught with that uh, leg hit after her initial double hit medium so once i kind of realize that it's not too difficult to deal with these dominoes I just need to obviously be careful because Domino can hit like a truck. But at this point, not having to suffer crit fail damage is a huge advantage in this fight. And as we can see here, even though we did make a small mistake, 95% health remaining after a Domino fight that lasted only a minute is definitely a perfect result. Well, maybe not perfect, but close to it anyways and uh, now next we have another domino this domino is going to be completely stun immune though so we are going to have a bit harder time against her i think i also will make a slip up and end up eating like a combo that is going to get me worried for a second but as i mentioned before i'm still extremely happy that the fights are going the way they are considering all of the issues ios 13 is currently facing in the game hopefully they will get resolved shortly i also heard that there will be like ios 13 update bug patch fix kind of thing coming and hopefully can kabam can do some things on their end to make sure that the gameplay is smooth as it was before at least because there were always some issues but hopefully we can get rid of most of them but anyway so once again uh, quake against domino this one is stun immune so we do not have as many kind of like openings and as much time to stack up our aftershock charges so we are damaging her slower than we were before however if you look at the time two minutes left in the fight she is at 50 percent so we are well on the time to be able to finish this fight before we timing out uh, we should have about a minute left on our clock before uh, domino drops and as we can see here uh doing fine we haven't made the mistake yet but i think i am going to end up eating a combo here i ended up throwing my heavy and i think that is also going to be the mistake i'm going to make uh, again or is it will be the mistake of medusa fight don't really remember but i do remember that i make a couple of slip-ups here with quake 
anyway so uh domino is at 18 percent so it's the fight is well under control uh we haven't taken too much damage here yet but here she does clip me crit me three times in a row and in three hits i lose pretty much half of my health because all three of them unfortunately for me did crit now i hit her with my heavy attack drop my level one and my aftershocks kick in and yeah the fight's over so it wasn't exactly a perfect fight but hey things happen so here is going to be a short pause in the recording kind of because i was chatting uh, with my officers in my battle group, we were discussing w which mini boss should I take. Should I go for Captain Marvel movie or should I go for Phoenix and Medusa? And so, yeah, we were basically discussing who's gonna take who. And I ended up going to the side of Phoenix and Medusa just because I kind of wanted an extra fight as well. They basically said to me, It's up to you, whichever one you want, you can go and take down. And I was like, Yep, I'll just take the one where I actually get to do two mini bosses and yeah so we are going to be doing the phoenix next which has like recovery strike back and stuff like that and then we're gonna go on to do that fully immune medusa mini as well uh, now i do drop in three health potions in my quake just to top her up a bit more uh, just in case like i get clipped again also with quake you need to be careful never to kind of drop below 18 percent in case opponents do have assassin mastery active on them uh, that can be very tricky to deal with. Basically, if you drop below 18%, you're kind of dead. But yeah, Quake against Phoenix, not much to worry about at all. Only thing you need to be aware is that double medium hit at the end that can kind of throw you off a bit. It is a bit trickier to Quake opponents who have these double hits because uh, it can mess with your timing. But so long as you're aware of it and you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. Also, this Phoenix is not stun immune or debuff immune so it is quite a bit easier to deal with her also while quake has her concussion up phoenix is not getting any fury buffs uh, for most part so i don't really have to worry too much about her hitting like a truck towards end of the fight which is obviously always helpful and yeah as we can see here 50 seconds in the fight phoenix is at 39 percent so we're well on target also because she has no phoenix charges and concussion and all the other stuff she won't really be having any region at end of the fight either therefore yeah we are perfectly safe and within time limit to be able to take this phoenix down as you can see here her regeneration activates uh but she doesn't heal like at all so at this point i just need to make sure uh there are a couple more ticks of quakes aftershocks that take her down and yeah so now the last fight of the war is going to be against this medusa the medusa is fully immune uh, so we will have no breaks uh, in between uh, but again medusa isn't really the trickiest opponent for quake either uh, i will make a slip up in this fight i think and that is going to be one of my kind of most common mistakes personally i have when playing quake i sometimes let go of my heavy at the wrong time and leave myself exposed it's a really annoying habit i have that i have been trying to work with but occasionally it still kind of sneaks in uh, but yeah as we can see here even though medusa is immune she's ticking away fairly steadily at this point 30 seconds in the fight she's at 78 percent so we should be well on our mark to finish this fight within two minutes and yeah, so this turned out to be a fairly short war, 100% Quake exclusive fighting. And a uh, quick uh, mention also, I did take Nick Fury with me for his uh, synergy uh, just to have extra 10% attack. There was no specific reason why I really need to have him on the team. I did not plan to use him for any of the fights either. I just basically used his uh, synergy that grants me 10% attack bonus, uh, which was probably uh, kind of like the best thing I could do in these circumstances if I wasn't planning to use any other champion. Uh, but yeah, so here we did make a mistake. Uh, we did eat a combo or well, a short combo and we are at 57 percent however medusa has been ticking away slowly and steadily she's at 27 percent at this point just need to make sure there are no more slip ups and we should be perfectly fine in this fight so minute and a half in she's at 25 percent so once again we're pretty much perfectly on a target to finish this fight in two minutes uh, which is kind of like ideal length of the fight with quake because anything longer than two minutes you start how these little mistakes sneak in uh, but anyways uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button hit that sub button 
share to your friends, share with your alliance mates. Let me know what you think of Alliance War currently, what you think about Quake in Alliance War. Uh, but yeah, that will do for today. Uh, once again, uh, hit that like, sub button, share button, all the buttons, and I'm gonna catch you guys soon. See ya!